following on from the last video I did, which was a spiculectomy Winograd style for a recurrent and grown toenail, at least a little spike of nail that had grown back. This lady had had nail surgery about two months ago, again from one of the local pods, done expertly and really, really well by one of my local colleagues. But unfortunately, the hypergranulation tissue had not fully settled down. So this is another example where you can do some sharp resection to remove the soft tissue that ordinarily settles down but you know what, it doesn't every time. Alrighty, now Sharon, I'm just going to give you a little test. So we're testing again. Any sharpness there? No. What about up here? No. Nice and numb there? Yeah. All around nice and oh, numb. Oh God, just go a bit further down to the bottom again. Not, I'm going to be just about there. What about the side? No, it's alright. About here? No, actually, that's all right. I just felt a little bit down at the bottom, but mm. that's fine. You're okay there, right? I'm okay. Happy days. All right. So we're going to put a little tourniquet on, okay. so there's no claret while we're doing it. Okay. Do you know why we do this, Sharon? No, we just had the floor done, so <laughs> we don't want to make a mess. <laughs> so I'll put a little tourniquet mm. on. I love these tourniquets. Not. So, I'll just check we're still in shot, Sharon. Yeah, kind of. So, we've got both the Sharon's toes to do. Sharon, I'm going to give you a, a pseudonym for the video so nobody knows it's you. Should we call it something different? No, no, call me Sharon. We're going to call you Sharon again. Okay. We're going to see if you're nice and numb this time. So, how are we doing there? Super. Well, that's a difficult one to anesthetise that toe. It's like, it is slight. I can feel it slightly, but it's not as... It's not so cheeky. No. no, no so no. what we're doing I'm is we're doing a little, a little ellipse. I'm not... Um, it's either a menopausal flush, which I shouldn't be having because Because you're only, you're only young. Or it's just panic. So while, while we were redoing some low anaesthetic on this left hallux, we actually completely did the right hallux, so we should have videoed the other side, Sharon, but never mind. So it, it's a sort of a straight and then a semi-elliptical inc incision straight the way down. So the previous podiatrist who'd done nail surgery had done a lovely job. It's absolutely neat as you like. So there's the, the bit of nail correction, skin, super, super neat, but that's just skin that's just never settled down. So, so, nail absolutely beautiful there, and it's really just a case of taking away. Can you do a now? No, I'm going to leave this in by secondary intention, really, Helen. Mm -hmm. You can, you can close it, and do a sort of almost like a true Winograd, mm -hmm. but I actually want to in this instance really decompress soft tissue away from nail, so it's got to settle down. So just a little bit of anything that's a bit suspiciously white, I like to take out. Anything that could be a little bit matrixy. If in doubt, take, take it, it out. out. Yeah. Which is easy said than done. It's not canoe easy, very no, I'd rather have a baby. Well it's very nice of you to offer. We don't <laughs> I, I don't provide that on the NHS. I mean Sorry, I don't, don't get me wrong, Sharon, I'm flattered, I really am. I mean but uh, I don't know why I could take that actually. I tell you what, let me let me speak to her and see, because you know you hear about these open marriages, don't you? Oh my goodness! You know. Oh, Mr. I know, and you from Yorkshire as well. I, I mean, know. I mean. You're making me hot and flustered now. Well, well, that's 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 a that's a two for one, isn't it? It's like a sale, isn't oh, it? God. You buy one, you get one free. Right. Okay. And then we're all done in there, so that now is clean as a whistle. Oh, okay. So that really now is a chance of really healing by secondary intention. You could put a little stitch across it, but I think we'll let that kind of healing by secondary intention. Oh, that's so and just because I, well, no, 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 there's definitely an option, Helen, because that would have been a true Winograd. But I think what I really want to do is really take all this tissue away so it's got a chance to, to decompress. Because if we then squeeze all that tissue in, yeah. So I think really just a a secondary intention type wound. 
Thank, thank you. And you, thank were, you. you were absolutely invaluable. I could have thank done you. it without thank you. Bless her. So she was mopping the brow, wasn't she, for she you, was. Sharon, while you were having a bit of a moment. So we're going to put a little packing on that. And then we put on a bit of a, what I know as a, as a, as a, as a BFO dressing. And then just take the tonic off. So that's really now got a chance of healing. Okay, brilliant. So I couldn't see any any nail down there. Okay. There was something a little bit suspicious for some nail root, but but with the phenol technique that you'd had done very well by our local colleague, the root's sort of still there, it's just a bit kind of dead really. Okay. So it's not like you get I'm just gonna leave that there for a sec. Okay. You'll still see the anatomy there. But it's kind of dead. Now, okay. I'm just going to change my gloves and that's it done. Now, okay. well, I'll stop the video, but thank you for that. So, as I mentioned earlier on, I'd actually done a bilateral procedure. And this is the right first and had exactly the same procedure, right first lateral. And I've done a Weinegrad type excision. And it was really to remove the hypergranulation tissue. In the end, I found some matrixy looking tissue, which I removed as well. I suspect the matrix was was completely dead from the previous phenol technique, but you know, if in doubt, take it out. I was always told, and I, I kind of stick by that. Um, also, as I mentioned earlier on, suturing is an option. I could have sutured that in, but I really wanted to decompress the hypergran and remove that from the tissue. So, I'd really call this almost like a Bose B O S E Bose style resection. I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to all the different soft tissue techniques that are available for nails. Spoke to the lady the following morning and she's going to send me through some, some post-op pictures. She was a little bit sore, had a minor bleed, but was otherwise doing well. So let's see if I can add some more pictures in now from the post-procedure. So this is the Bose style resection, Bose from 1971, and it's really, it's ideal for hypergranulation tissue, really. Um, this is the knoll. So really the knoll is what we think about as the Weinegrad. If you actually look to Weinegrad's original 1929 paper, the Weinegrad that we do now is not the Weinegrad that Weinegrad wrote up. So, as I say, soft tissue nerd. Any Either way, we're taking out some of that soft tissue. Here's the final picture. This is 24 hours post-procedure. Sharon's just sent this in and she's healing nicely as you can see.